Hello there. Hello, community. Welcome. We are all about the digestive system in this live event. We're going to be making a recipe that's going to help get things moving gently. That's right. We're going to be using a, a specific carrier that it's known for getting in there and working with inflammation and working with getting things moving and pairing that with three beautifully essential oils that work right along with that. So we would love for you to put into the comments where you're watching from and pop in a favorite emoji. Um, that way we know who's here and we can welcome you and we are so excited to do these events. It's such a great way to come together as a community and learn from each other and we love sharing recipes that will help support your health and wellness goals, specifically with your digestive system this time around. And a cool thing is today, cool thing. we are drinking tea from our very own community called Lake Missoula Tea Company. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a tea place right here in Missoula. They have beautiful teas. I went in there the other day. I was buying three teas and I came out with a whole bag full of teas. I was I so excited about their teas. A lot of organic teas. And as I was telling her what we were doing with our you know, tea and aromatherapy. She said, well, you do understand that pure teas, P-U-E-R-H, really support the digestive system. And I thought, perfect. Yes, I did know that, but I'd forgotten that. And this is a ginger orange pure tea. So we're using orange today in our recipes. And, I, and ginger, not in this recipe, but in our tea time, we're using a lot of ginger. And that's what this has. It has pure, tea, ginger, orange peel, and it's organic. I love it. I also got these very cool mugs there. It says gratitude on them. I love that. It's always good to, a good time to have gratitude. So again, welcome to this particular episode of Tea Time where we are looking all about the digestive system. We'll be working with castor oil. Karen has so many things to share with us about castor oil, as well as our sweet orange oil our sweet marjoram and our black pepper. And it's going to be a really great way to approach getting that gentle movement flowing. So again, uh, wherever you're watching from, put in your favorite emoji, where you're tuning in from, and we love to connect with you. So a lot of people are loving our mugs. You're right. These gratitude mugs are also locally made from a crafter right here in Missoula. And I got these at the tea company as well. I love it. And it's so nice to, um, to work with other companies that have similar mm -hmm. sourcing ethics that we do over at um, Aromatics, which is right. Yeah, yep. Sourcing, wonderful sourcing ethics. Working with the farmers, working with the land, it all goes together. Whether we're you working with essential oils or specific herbs, like our beautiful teas are. Yes, and. Three times I've steeped this very same tea, so it goes a long way. I've set my watch three minute timer each time. So if you're enjoying just learning more about the digestive system, here at Aroma Head, we love doing um, short workshops of about 60 minutes with a Q&A. We have one coming up um, this week, and it's all about five different essential oils that really help support your belly. So there's a link right below where you're watching. You can click and you can um, grab your ticket for that live event. They're packed full of information. So now we focus on five oils, but we're getting into a lot of very deep topics um, coming up on Thursday. So I really hope that you join us there if you're, if you're, everybody does something or another. We, we all experience digestive issues some way. And one of the things that we're showing today is a castor oil pack and Sheila, who is our case study instructor and she also does She's our research papers. Research paper specialist. That's right. It's help, helped me with this tea time and came up with all these recipes for this specific tea time, tea time seven. I love it. So we're gonna jump into our recipe, but before I do that, again, if you'd like to do that deep dive into our um, workshop, um, tickets are available and you can click the link right below where you're watching. As you know, if you've attended any of our events or been through any of our courses, the value for what you pay is off the charts when it comes to essential oils and aromatherapy our evidence-based approach to presenting that content. So we'd love to see you there. And should we get into our recipe today? Let's do. So the recipe today, you can download it right below us or right beside us. Um, there's a download for all of the tea time recipes and for day, today's tea time recipe as well. So we're gonna use one ounce of castor oil. 
we're going to use uh, six drops of our sweet marjoram, five drops of our black pepper, and four drops of our sweet orange. I love it. And I'm going to just put these in different, there we go. The other thing that we're using today is a cotton flannel. Now I just went to my natural goods store or a health food store and they usually have these flannel packs. So this is an organic cotton flannel, which I really like to use organic cotton when I'm putting it on myself because we are putting on castor oil and oils that is absorbing into our gut area. So we want to support it in any way that we can. And this, let me just show it to you, is perfect for our needs. And what I typically do is it comes like this. I will fold it in half like that. And then we were going to put our castor oil and oils on top of this. So we'll describe this as we go through. So Jenny's going to help us. We have a bowl. We're going to put an ounce of castor oil in and she's just going to eyeball it. This is an eight ounce castor oil. So she's just going to put in about a half an inch of that into our bowl. I sure am. Then we have our nifty little glass stir rod so we can stir up our essential oils into it. All right. So this recipe, as we go through, I'm going to tell you about the castor oil. So castor oil is remarkable. And go ahead and pour that in. It's very thick, as you can see as she's pouring it in. We want to get plenty in there. A whole ounce. We could have actually put the um, weight scales underneath this and, and weighed it out as well. Just eyeballing it. So you saw how thick that was. So thick. So thick. And we use this a lot with digestive issues because there are some researched information on castor oil that shows that it can actually soak down in through all the tissues, three inches. Tissues. Tissues. <laughs> three inches. I mean, that's remarkable, isn't it? It's so remarkable. So I find myself not using castor oil a lot because it is so thick and it is so viscous. But for this purpose, it's so perfect. It targets inflammation, which a lot of us might experience in our guts. It helps to get things moving. So a lot of us have heard, you know, when we were kids, our grandmothers would say, take the castor oil. <laughs> this is all external. Fortunately, my grandmother never did that or my mother, but I've heard a lot of stories about children having to take castor oil to get things moving. Your mother is my grandmother and I never got that either. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> so now, Castor oil does have um, in a little ingredient in it as a natural toxin in the castor bean. And somehow, why is that on there? Oh, there we go. Um, it's called ricin, R-I-C-I-N, and it doesn't come through the cold process, so you're not getting that toxic substance that is in the castor bean in the castor oil. And as you're watching, thank you for going over that. As you're watching, um, just pop in where you're tuning in from and a favorite emoji. And uh, we just, again, love to see who's here. We love to connect with you. That's right. Now, I keep looking over here to the side because I'm looking at my notes. I want to make sure as I jotted them down that we get all of the delicious information that you need to make a successful belly flannel pack. pack. Yes. Castor oil pack for gentle movement. All right, so into this, we're going to be adding our um, black pepper. Let me get back to our recipe. So it is five drops of black pepper. Mm. It just, black pepper has such a personality. It's just like you think, just it a does. vibrant black pepper. That's right, it's kind of a fresh, dry, which is the opposite of sweet, is dry. Uh, kind of a spicy, woody, it's very warming. So <clears throat> we used to think it was really harsh on your skin, but it really isn't harsh on your skin as long as you use it in a good dilution. And we like to use a 1% of black pepper, which is about five to six drops uh, in a blend. Yep, in a one ounce blend. Yep. All right, so it, it helps to release that blocked energy. And lots of times when we have constipation issues, that's tightness, right? Yes. You're tight. Your stomach doesn't feel good. It hurts. And think, remember when you travel or when a stressful situation comes, the first thing that goes is normal elimination. Totally. 
Most of us, when we travel, unfortunately, experience constipation because we're worried we're going to miss our flight. We've got to get there on time. This person beside me is coughing. Oh no, the line's too long. I'm going to miss my next flight. And suddenly we're tight. Everything is tight. And these three oils, not only do they target the digestive system, but they also target relaxing our emotions, mm -hmm. re relaxing us so that our body can flow as it was meant to flow, right? So often when something like that happens, it's because we're also going through emotional distress. That's right. So taking this blend with you when you're traveling is an excellent idea, whether you're traveling by car or whether you're traveling you know, by plane or however you're traveling. So black pepper is a digestive stimulant. So it's also helping our digestion to move as it should be. It's really good at reducing nausea and vomiting, which we might also experience. Oh, These three oils, we're doing a castor oil pack, but it's excellent for a inhaler as well to keep in your pocket while you're traveling, especially if you are feeling a little bit nauseated. So let's move on. It's let's also great on. for helping to encourage the uh, energy we levels. Move on. Let's. <laughs> Move on. Let's get the move on this. <laughs> let's get the move so on So let's put in our sweet marjoram. And I believe that was six drops of sweet marjoram. We'll put that right into our castor oil. And as Jenny is doing that, sweet marjoram also supports self-care. It helps us to sleep a lot better. It's very calming and comforting, and it's also warming. So mm -hmm. these oils that we're putting in here are all warming in one degree or another that warms our digestive area up, warms the belly up, and helps to relax so we can get things moving. It's an amazing antispasmodic as well. So great for digestion, um, constipation, especially with that tightness and cramping. Yes. So it has kind of a typical herbal aroma. It's so aroma. nice. I was just really breathing it in deeply. It I is, must need it today. It is a bit camphorous. Well, that camphor a little bit woody, some spicy notes in there. It's but a beautiful also, oil. Also sweet. I th I'm getting yeah. some sweet. Get some uh, sweet herb, from herbaceous sweet aroma in there. Mm -hmm. So this is one that you can tuck in um, at bedtime as well. You can tuck it in. It goes well with our Roman chamomile that we've mm -hmm. talked about. Mm -hmm. All right. And our last oil, we're going to put in four drops of our sweet orange. And we've talked a lot about sweet orange because it has a a whole lot of benefit for us in a lot of different areas. And our students here at Aroma Head um, who are in our online self-paced courses, um, you already know the backstory of why these oils are working. And so if you are new to uh, chemistry, if you're new to understanding how these beautiful plant resources can really support us, you definitely want to check out the workshop that's coming up, Five Oils to Support Healthy Bellies, because we'll get into a little bit of that. We'll get into a little bit of chemistry, and of course, as Jeannie mentioned, in our certification program, we get a lot into, or drops of sweet orange, a lot into chemistry, which tells us why these oils work the way they do. It's really right. exciting. Right. But sweet orange on an energetic level also unblocks that stuck energy and helps things to get flowing. Sweet orange is a little bit on the warming side kind of a neutral warm, so it goes well with these oils and warming up this area, warming up our emotions as well, because every time we talk about stuck energy or tightness, we're also talking about our emotions. They go hand in hand. They really do. So it's, sweet orange is very anxiety relieving. It's very calming. Sometimes, and I know Jenny does this as well, because I saw this in her last newsletter, She'll grab a bottle of something and smell it without even putting it into a blend or anything. If she needs that support, if we mm -hmm. need that support, or if you need that support, grab the bottle and just smell. Take a minute. Take a minute and just smell that mm -hmm. bottle and you'll can, you can see. In fact, a case study um, came in. One of our students, I just read about it this morning, uh, the case study instructor told us about it. They got onto our Aroma Head forum, wrote this amazing story about a blend that they made for a man who was in the hospital with broken ribs and all kinds of painful, issues. painful issues. 
made him a very specific inhaler to help calm him down, help calm the emotions down, especially with all this pain going on. And he could actually watch the monitor. His blood pressure would be up, his, his heart rate was up, his pulse rate was, was racing. As soon as he smelled the inhaler, things started coming down. The heart rate came down, the pulse rate came down. Those are the same thing. Um, and he felt a lot better. He could watch that on the monitor. That's so special. Isn't that interesting? I love hearing stories like that when our oils are doing exactly what we hope that they're doing. So constipation, sweet orange is one of my number one digestive oils. I almost put it in every single one of my digestive blends because it works so well at just calming everything down, including nausea and vomiting. So now we're going to use our glass stir rod and stir this up. It's nice and thick, but I want, and so I want to stir it up to get all those oils in there. Wow, that is just a gorgeous mm. blend. This is also really great for irritable bowel syndrome. Anything that has to do with trying to relax and let the body work as it's intended to work, this works well. So <clears throat> we take our flannel and there's different ways to do this. You can take your blend and pour it right on the flannel or what I like to do is I kind of fold it up like this into thirds so that the part in the middle I'm going to put right into this bowl and I'm going to I'm going to soak that castor oil as much as it can take right over that area and then I'm going to gently unfold this I usually put it in twos so let's keep it into into halves here and I'm going to make sure I get all just wipe up all of that castor oil. Isn't that cool? And you'll have something like this. Now this, you're going to put directly on your belly. What I like to do is because sometimes that can drip out, I like to put a towel underneath me, lay on my bed, put this right over the belly. And I've done this a lot to help with inflammation issues. <clears throat> put it over the belly. And then, if you really want this to work well, put a piece of plastic, like a saran wrap, over the top, and then put a heating pad over the top of that, and let that heat work to help get that, this blend right down into the belly. And then for about <clears throat> 15, 20 minutes, even 30 minutes, if you have the time to do 30 minutes, just lay there and relax and let it do its thing and you're gonna feel like a million bucks when you're done. Ooh, it sounds really nice. You can keep this, okay? So you fold it back up, fold this up, it'll all be absorbed into your belly. You'll fold this back up so that the oil is on the inside and you'll put it back in your bag so that you can use it over and over again. At some point, your castor oil is going to go rancid and you'll have to get a brand new flannel but you can use this several times. And you'll be able to tell that aromatically. You'll be yes. able to be like, oh, I need, it. I need a new one. That's right. As soon as you smell it, you're like, oh, this, oh, okay. this went off. Like olive oil goes off. That's exactly what it smells like when castor oil goes off. Mm -hmm. All right. Isn't that amazing? I love that. And I'm new to using um, castor oil in this particular way. So I'm just along for the ride loving this, these tips and tricks. I don't know if anyone else out there if this is something you've done before, or if this is a new thing for you, pop that in and let us know in the comments. And of course, put in your favorite emoji and let us know where you're tuning in from. Also, don't forget to like this video if you're enjoying the content, subscribe to our channel and hit, hit that bell for notifications. There's a couple of questions here I want to address. That sounds great. And you can use this depending on how often you use it. I know that when I use this, especially to decrease inflammation in the belly, I might use it every couple of days. And this will go on, you can use this for up to a month, sometimes a little bit more. You can even put this in the freezer mm -hmm. and then take it out, let it warm up and reuse it again. And that will also extend the life of your flannel. Mm -hmm. Now, Brian, you had a really great comment. As an RN, and I'm a registered nurse as well, I wish we had more availability to use EOS at the bedside. So great news for you is that a lot of hospitals across the world, not just our country, but across the world, have holistic healthcare centers 
that came because of nurses like us who wanted to use these. And what you do is you get your recipes going and you present it to your hospital board so that you can have specific protocols that you can use. Of course, you have to get the SDS sheets for the essential oils and all the products that you're using. But if you can show why you're using this and get your docs on board, it'll happen. I absolutely will. And I attended an online clinical aromatherapy conference not that long ago. And specifically in Europe, they, I, I, I want to say they're ahead of us, but I don't want to say that with absolute they, they certainty. They have more freedom. You're they right. They have more freedom. And, and they generally, when it comes to aromatherapy, it's more integrative right now. And I should hopefully say we'll catch up. more freedom in using integrative uh, therapies and before we finally use them over here in the U.S. And so many exciting things are happening with that. So, so Brian Smith, don't you worry. That's going on and there's really a, there's, there's a, a wonderful future ahead with that because it's so great to have those integrative practices like the case study you described mm -hmm. with being a healer and supporting that gentleman. That's right. Yeah. So, and Beatrice, yes, she did a castor oil pack on her liver area to help with detox. Oh, wow. And that's how amazing castor oil is. I've even used this pack, the castor oil without any essential oils to help with inflammation in the gut. When I'm feeling like things are just not working as they should, you can just use the castor oil and get tremendous results. If you're having constipation issues, using these essential oils with this just helps things to just flow, unclench so that things can move as they're supposed to. And of course, there's a lot of things that cause constipation. We're coming at it from the angle of working with your emotions, but there's also other things that you all know, drink more water, eat more fiber, get more exercise, you know. As we say, just move it. If you move it, your body will move it, right? Exactly, and I am not a registered nurse, and so um, I use essential oils all the time to help my digestive system, and I haven't used it in this particular way. If this was me and I was having issues getting movement, would I need to plan to stay home in terms of I get success with that movement? I probably don't want to go to a concert that night. You're right. Well, I don't You're know, right. but I would imagine. You're right. It does <laughs> loosen things up, and probably for the next 24 hours, you want to make sure that you're close by somewhere that you can access in a quick moment. So maybe not on the airplane as you're traveling. Wait not till on you the get airplane. there. Right. Use your inhaler Check on in. the airplane um, and do that. So castor oil has a three to four year shelf life, I believe. Uh, I meant to write that down here. So, but it has a pretty long shelf life. If it's um, different than three to four years, we'll pop that note into the comments. Okay, and also um, when you're using this on other areas, like there was a comment, what, what about my painful knees? And absolutely can do the same pack on your painful knees to reduce inflammation. And then instead of using oils for digestion, you would just re resort to oils that we have that we use for pain. Yeah, absolutely. I know, it's so Black versatile. pepper is one of them as well. Yep. It's yep. really great for pain. So you would just couple that with a couple of other oils uh, that are known for that. And if this is all uh, piquing your interest and you are becoming intrigued and you want to learn more, you definitely want to check out our online courses, specifically our certification program over at aromahead.com. We get into it's, a lot of yep, content there. Yep, a lot of really in-depth content looking at the science and how to apply that. And it's, it's, it's well worth the investment to do that. That's right. And thank you, Mina. She's, she's saying uh, four years. Thanks, um, Mina. On that over at the Aromatics International, uh, which is where this castor oil is from. So, and yes, Brian, this recipe would be really good for menstrual cramps. Mm -hmm. Excellent for menstrual cramps. I'm going to have another sip of my delicious tea. Right? I know. I know. Mmm. It's delicious. It's delicious. It's delicious. And if you are enjoying uh, this event, I love this tea. one way that we are continuing to offer and keep this a free event for us to all hang out and learn together in this way, you can uh, support us by buying us a tea or a coffee. There's an icon there with a hot beverage, and you can click on that and uh, support our tea time seasons in that way. And thank you all for doing this. I so know, many right? of you have given Jenny and I some teas. Yes. Like and that's one. how I'm able to go in and buy a lot of these remarkable teas. 
So this one is featured from Lake Missoula Tea Company, local right here. Beautiful, beautiful teas, beautiful people that are working there too. I know, and you can buy online for, from and them. And you can buy online, yep. they ship everywhere. Yep. So you don't have to have a flannel cloth. The purpose of the flannel cloth is it helps keep the heat in. It helps keep, it helps to uh, give you a longer span where you can have that heat directly on whatever area, and in this case, it is our belly area to help with whatever issue, constipation, inflammation, some nausea. Uh, it's very, very supportive. Pain, pain issues as well as some of you have brought out. Flatulence, which I've promised to not make any jokes about this season. Mm, that's right. <laughs> so I really hope that yeah. if you haven't signed up for the class on Thursday, there's so much information that we will be sharing with you on that webinar. We take a deep dive into a lot of different issues. We show substitutes for the essential oils that we're using. We focus on five with data sheets, but then give you a lot of substitutions that you can use uh, instead. A lot of us have certain essential oils sitting on our shelves, or maybe we don't like one essential oil for a reason, or a client of yours doesn't like that for a reason, then you can easily substitute. So if you are making that decision about um, joining that workshop, it's absolutely for you if you're brand new to us or essential oils. Uh, maybe you uh, are practicing aromatherapy and you're new to our community, it's a great place to join in. If you're already in one of our online classes, it's information that is new in that we're presenting it with a different lens. So if you're already in our certification program or a natural living course, um, this is absolutely for you as well. So I always like to put that out there. Now these oils that we've used, you absolutely can use this with kids. If they're five and under, then just use the castor oil. Castor oil and kids go hand in hand. It will work really well with their tender little bodies. If they're five and older, just cut down your essential oil so that you only have five to six oils total in this blend to put on their tummy. Now when you're working with kids and you have a heating pad over the top, be really careful that that heating pad isn't too hot. I have a heating pad that I found that was my mother's. I remember when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. It's probably over 70 years old oh, wow. that I found that I turn on and I put over the top. It works so perfectly, but I have to be careful because it does get a little bit hot. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind for safety. All of these oils are safe. There isn't any safety issues as far as skin goes, as long as you use fresh oils that have been stored properly. In the right dilution, the recommended dilution. All right, this has been just so very enjoyable. Well, I've, all, I've enjoyed a couple of things. I've enjoyed this content, learning more about creating this gentle movement caster pack. I've also really enjoyed watching my mom, uh, Karen, her new puppy Sage, is out running around and our media director so graciously is to keeping track of her while we're doing this live event and she's just out trooping around and she wants to get to you. She wants to get to me. <laughs> it's she so does. Cute. It's so, so cute. And if you, um, we love working with, uh, we love spreading good messaging and good content around essential oils and how to use them around your pets. So we have um, content here on our YouTube channel about that if you want to explore that even more. All right. All right. I think we've done it. It has been a lovely time, um, as always, um, spending this time with you. So uh, again, we will see you on our next event, our next Tea Time event which will be same time, same place, and we'll be continuing to talk about the digestive system. So right below where you're watching some important ways to keep connected, we have a PDF of recipes for this um, particular theme, which is all about supporting the digestive system, as well as that link to uh, the workshop we're doing on five essential oils to support happy belly movement. And we're gonna have a great time on Thursday with that. That's with that. right, so be sure and support you know, like this channel, this YouTube channel, if you enjoyed what you're watching. Click the, is it a purple button on there? So or? you wanna make sure you are subscribed so that you're um, getting notifications whenever we do live events or we do um, new video content. You also wanna click that bell so you're the first to know. The bell, that that's bell. it, the bell. <laughs> and then of course, uh, so like, subscribe, and hit that bell. All right, this has been lovely and we will see you next time. Bye for now.